Hi, I'm Mr. Barnes, one of the teachers of Algebra 2 Trick A. Instead of a quiz for Chapter 10, we're going to have a little art project. It's going to be worth five quiz test points with the potential to earn five extra credit points based on how much you wow us. So how do you make conic section art? What are we expecting from you? Well, art, to me anyway, is about breaking the rules. So don't be afraid to come up with original ideas and whatever I'm about to show you Take these and you know exponentially change them or whatever you need to whatever you need to do to make a project that you're proud of to get those wow points. Uh, I'm going to take you through some basic steps of what I would do uh, if I were a student in this class, but feel free to break the rules along the way. The only rule is we want all four of the conic sections to be represented: your circles, your parabolas, your ellipses, your hyperbolas. You're going to take all those, put them together creatively in a way that makes you proud. Uh, and it's going to earn you some points. So uh, let's get to Desmos. Go to desmos.com. Here we are at Desmos. Desmos.com. Let's learn together. Put the equation over here. I'm going to make a circle with radius 5. 5 squared equals 25. And so, uh, you know, it's art. So do what you want to do. Right here, maybe uh, let's take that and do a minus 2. To move that over a little bit you get the idea i mean this is about you exploring with your mathematics um, and uh, making something beautiful in the process so you can draw circles parabolas hyperbolas ellipses uh, let's pretend like i typed in all these wonderful things down here that we've learned about in algebra 2 trig a and, and i get all these you'll notice that i changed the color of these uh, to black because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of this and put it into Photoshop and then use the paint, paint bucket tool to change the colors out of each of these. Uh, so just a couple tips. You can go over here to the wrench button boop, and uh, we can hide the grid. We can hide the axes and then we get just a nice looking uh, drawing. One thing when you take the screenshot is to make sure nothing's selected, otherwise this one will be a little bit darker and that might annoy you because I know that annoys me. The hardest part for me is finding a good screenshot. Once I get some beautiful mathematics there, it's hard to find like wh where should I screenshot this? I don't know. Maybe a detail, maybe an overview. I'm in, I'm in a symmetrical mood there, so I'm actually going to do it right there. I'm going to screenshot. How about from right about here I'm trying to make it a perfect square and and then i'm going to take that screenshot and open it up in photoshop here i am in photoshop i'm just going to take this paint bucket tool now if you don't have access to photoshop there's a number of ways to go, to go about this you can put this into paint or any uh, software that you have um, but i just like photoshop so i'm going to use this paint bucket tool uh, and I'm just going to go around here and fill in these like a stained glass painting. Now, you know, any any program that you have will work for this. Uh, just be creative. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of these with the paint bucket tool, as you can see. And I'm just going to have a, a slow uh, lightning effect of blues to hit in the middle here. I'll just have like a minor blue effect. So let me just show you what I mean. I'll take this, move this very northwards there towards a nice sky blue and then i'll color that in so uh, that's what i like to do i mean you can um do anything you really want it's up to you uh it's art so express yourself get those wow points by impressing your teachers by putting the time in and uh, in including all your conic sections that you've learned about this chapter be well